What is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my kitchen. It's the first time I'm cooking on film, so hopefully it's not a disaster. If you're seeing this, it went uh, decent or good enough to make this video. Um, can't say that the bread is going to be any good, but uh, we'll try. So, as you can tell, we're going to be making some sourdough bread. At the beginning of this whole uh, pandemic, everyone kind of went stir crazy, and one of the big things people started doing was making sourdough bread. I think it's um, just because of the, the nature of being able to use your hands, you don't have to go out and do anything, you're making it yourself. It's the old school way. It's just flour and uh, water, and you just keep mixing it up, and then you just end up with some bread in the end, hopefully. I made a few good loaves, I made a lot of bad loaves. Today we're hoping the recipe that I wrote down is one of the good loaves. I don't remember, it was quite a while ago. What we're gonna be using is a large ball jar. You don't need one this big. Uh, I got it like this because I knew I was gonna be trying to perfect the recipe back then and I was gonna need a lot of headspace for the, the starter to keep growing because I was making loaves like every week. Um, not necessarily needed today. I'm still gonna use this. Um, it's a little hard to get down in there, I guess. Uh, so maybe a pain later, but it is what it is. I got it, I'm gonna use it. But I got that. I got a rubber band, which we'll address later. I got a gram scale. I got an instant read thermometer. A measuring cup, which is right here. And something to stir the flour water mixture with. This is kind of like a silicone flat spatula. So what we're gonna be mixing is uh, I've got all-purpose flour, AP, and whole wheat. So I've got those left over from what I was working with earlier in the year, and we're gonna go with a 50-50 recipe. I tried a bunch of different ones, like 70, 30, 60, 40, uh, different temperatures of water and stuff like that. I can't remember what worked, what didn't work. I didn't take good enough notes. So we're just gonna go with the tried and true, hopefully it works, 50%. Uh, whole wheat 50% AP and then 100% hydration of that with the water. So we're only going to do a mixture of 50 grams each and then we'll do 100 grams in the water. Um, it doesn't have to be specific like if you were you know 51 or 53 and 102 it's it's not gonna be the end of the world but precision with baking things is a little more important than cooking so I'm gonna try to get it right on, but uh, no guarantees. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is get our jar on our gram scale. We're gonna zero it out. The jar itself empty weighs 817 grams. Now you can do ounces, grams, kilograms, whatever works for your measuring scale. Grams works for me because I have it written down 50 grams, 50 grams, 100 grams. Um, so we're just gonna start with that. So I'm gonna get this on here. I'm gonna zero this guy out. And then I'm gonna add, well, actually I'm gonna grab my water first. Now you want the water to be lukewarm. So like 98, somewhere in there, I'd say 95 to 100. So get some warm water. Uh, again, you only need 100 grams, so it's not a ton, but uh, we can see where we're at here. We're 98.2, uh, 98.1, .2, so we're good right now. We'll be right in that range by the time we pour it in. I'm going to add my all-purpose flour first. Um, let's make sure we're registered zero. And we're going to go in that. That was 28 grams. Okay, that was 41. Two, forty-five, forty-eight. Okay, we're at fifty grams. Now we're going to add the whole wheat. We're going to add fifty of that as well. zeroed out my uh, scale, so now we can add the whole wheat, 50 grams. And they are different densities, so it's going to take 
uh, a different amount, physical amount of the whole wheat versus the AP. So you can't just like say, oh, it's gonna be a quarter cup or something. You actually do have to measure it out because of the, the density of the flour. Just like the water, you're gonna use a different amount of water than you are the flour because of the density of it. Pretty close, we're at 47. We only need a touch more. 49, there's 50. All right. Did spill a little bit there, but uh, we'll be all right. It still says 50. So I'm gonna zero this out once more. See what we're at on the water. We are at uh, 95 degrees. Should be all right. So we're gonna add 100 grams in now. Woo! Poured it a little too fast. We're at the, oh, actually, right on the dot. Got lucky with that. So it's at 100. So now we should be good. We can turn our uh, scale off and set that off to the side and we can stir this up so this will be a little bit uh, I guess partially sloppy partially sticky it's not super hydrated but it's not uh, dry you know it should look something like batter, you know, like pancake batter or so. You want it fully incorporated, obviously. I like to scrape down the sides and make sure all the dry flour that got on there does get incorporated if we can. pretty thick I would say it's not real thin not real thick you know it does stick to the uh, spatula but you know if you lean it it does I wouldn't say it runs but it starts moving so should hopefully be all right and then uh, that's where the rubber band comes in well we're gonna cap off the top first and then uh, the rubber band is gonna mark on here the level where the uh, flour is at because it should double in size uh, every day or every other day depending on really depends on your hydration level and the temperature that you keep it in so if it's really cold it's gonna be very slow it may take a few days to, to double in size um, one of those things that I was using back then when I was trying to make the bread because I didn't have the time to make the bread all the time was I kept it in the fridge so it, it would take a few days for it to rise up. Uh, so I'm hoping this isn't the case here. I'm going to leave it on the counter and we'll just watch it every day and see what we get for updates. So as we can see there, there's our, well that's not very straight. There we go. So as we can see, we got our rubber band on there. It should then hopefully be, you know, somewhere up here tomorrow or the next day. I'm just gonna keep it on the counter at this point. So I'm gonna put it right over here and uh, we'll be able to see tomorrow what uh, what brings it, uh, you know, if, it, if it's up or not. So hopefully it is. I guess we'll uh, cut it off there and check it out tomorrow. <laughs> 